Good evening, everybody. For any nonprofit or charity, it's all about executing the mission, using money wisely. In our review, some of the largest charities based here in West Michigan are doing an excellent job, and all of the organizations we surveyed have awesome missions. But there are certainly differences in performance from those at the top of the list and those at the bottom. It's a tale. We believe in our mission. Of two charities. We're able to reach about three million kids and their families. Both trying to make. We also want to be the best run nonprofit in the world. The world a better place. The missions of these two charities, the best of the best, but only one of them truly is rated as the best. But what better way to not only teach moral values, but to be able to teach something that they're going to hide in their heart forever. Boys and girls for Jesus. So many of you know this charity as the Children's Bible Hour. We've come to lift up the name of our Lord. Uncle Charlie, you could listen to him as he introduced kids to Jesus Christ. It all started in the 1940s. Over the years, it's morphed into CBH Ministries, and now... This is Keys for Kids, month one. The organization, based in Grand Rapids, now reaches kids on these storytellers inside stuffed animals and on their cell phones, far different from... Take the keys for kids along with you. It's really amazing how God has kind of morphed us from this uh, Christian variety show for kids to now really touching kids really on their cell phones because they can access this on every day right from their phones. Religious principles are also what sustains the Acton Institute, an organization established in 1990 based in downtown Grand Rapids. Its mission to promote a free society through religion and liberty. The Acton Institute values the dignity of the person. We're established to affect a purpose. You know, we want a more prosperous, harmonious, and virtuous world. We're an idea place, we're a think tank, so we're about education. Acton's brought in some of the best thinkers and speakers to share ideas over the years. The late Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. The living constitution. Another familiar face. Mr. Buckley. American author William F. Buckley at the Grand Plaza in 1992. I can say for the record that I'm most enthusiastic and encouraged by the work of the Acton Institute in Paz Rico. We use every dollar that they give us in the most efficient and effective manner in the execution of that mission. Acton Institute and Keys for Kids are two of 45 Grand Rapids, Holland, and Muskegon area charities the 13 Watchdog team rated with the help of CharityNavigator.org. Now, to qualify to be rated, the nonprofits have to be long standing organizations listed as 501c3 public charities file public disclosures, and have generated at least a million dollars in revenue for two consecutive years with at least half a million dollars in public support. Hospitals and universities were excluded. The rankings are based on accountability and transparency measures. Here's the top 10. 10, Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Foundation. 9, YMCA of Greater Grand Rapids. 8, Lakeshore Habitat for Humanity in the Holland area. 7, Senior Neighbors. 6, Audio Scripture Ministries. 5, Habitat for Humanity in Kent County. 4, Grand Rapids Art Museum. 3, John Ball Zoo. 2, Partners Worldwide. Keys for Kids, the organization helping spread the word of God to kids around the world, finished 45th out of 45. We have some things that we need to work on. There's no question but what organization doesn't. Charity Navigator counted off Keys for Kids for a lack of transparency in places. Issues Executive Director Greg Yoder says he's going to fix. The rating is also low because Keys for Kids is reporting only 66% of its money is going to the program, something Yoder says he's also going to work on. I don't like that number, but it's the number we have. Do we want it to get better? Absolutely. Would I love 100% of the donations going 100% to our programs? Absolutely. Is that reality? Probably not for a small ministry like ours. Yoder says his charities met the standard with the very important ECFA, a Christian accountability organization, though he promised he would address some of the issues we brought to him and attempt to get the charity from two stars to four stars in short order. If you really want to trust Keys for Kids or any other organization for that matter, going to a website isn't enough. You really need to meet those people who are involved. The number one ranked charity in our investigation is the Acton Institute, one of only 58 organizations across the country with perfect scores out of the more than 9,000 evaluated. We made that decision several years ago. We went all the way. And so we've decided that's who we're going to be organizationally, and, and we want the outside to see us as strong and effective and, and fully transparent. We've got nothing to hide. 
Their advice for folks who want to give to any charity. Scratch test, sort of getting in there and really taking a closer look at it. Thank you.